So I want to tell you about my second law, but I don't want to just outright tell you what it is. I want to kind of come to it through uh, maybe some units analysis. Let's do that. Check this out. I'm thinking that you've heard of forces. And forces are a very important physics concept because they have to explain why things move. Forces are abbreviated with the letter F, and when I put brackets around something, I'm usually talking about its units. So I'm talking about the units of force, and that's called a Newton, which is usually abbreviated with a capital N. And a Newton is the same thing as a kilogram times a meter divided by second squared. And if you're careful, you are thinking about some physics units we already have. Do you notice that that says kilogram and that says meters per second squared? That could be like a mass multiplied by the acceleration. So if I'm thinking about a force, it could be thought of as mass times acceleration. And remember, these are vectors, right? So we'll talk about vector force being vector mass times, no, sorry, <laughs> did I just say vector mass? I'm really embarrassed. I'm gonna keep going though. We're gonna keep rolling because this is live. Now, I'm also going to point out though, if I have an orange sitting on a bench, then the orange is not accelerating. It's just sitting there, see? And I guess my point is, this orange, if it's not accelerating, seems to have no force on it by this equation, which we've just sort of thrown at you. But that's not reasonable, right? There are two forces acting on the orange. And I guess one of the forces, I'm gonna put a dot in the middle of my orange, and one of the forces is downward, and it's m times baby g, and there's another force, and it's upward, and that force is, well, we could call it a lot of things. We could call it table on orange, but I'm gonna call it f normal. All right, so we've got mg down and f normal up. So what I'm observing is that maybe if I add up all the forces, these two forces are probably the same, right? So the orange is just sitting there, just sitting there <clears throat> and not accelerating. So maybe what I mean, instead of saying that force is always mass times acceleration, this statement is super, super misleading. And you might hear this, force is mass times acceleration. This is not Newton's second law. This is very sad because it's very confusing. What you need to do is you need to say, let's add up all the forces on a mass. And that's what this symbol means. It's a capital sigma, and it simply means add them up. And it says to take the vector forces and add them up. And that's really what I mean. I'm taking the vector forces. So if I have this force, which is up like that, that's the normal force. And then I have this other force, which is down like that. I have to put them tip to tail, right? So then I get a vector like that. This is mg, the other direction. And so I get a vector that is length zero, pointing any direction you want. But notice that that will be the acceleration of the orange also. The orange is not accelerating because there is no net force on it. So another way to write this, I should point this out, another way to write sigma force is to write net force. Oh, that sounds like a television show, sigma force. We'll see it at nine. Um, I wanna tell you also about equilibrium. We'll do that at another time.